but the way I'll teach you, you're in, you're in trouble. Maybe someone else teaches you. Those details that open up doors for you, that you, you're like, oh, holy shit, that makes it way easier. That makes it way more effective. And then you, as a group or individuals, should be doing the same shit, discovering what's already there. I'm not telling you to reinvent the wheel. You know, we'll put some better rims on it. You know, change the tires. Add to them. You know, this is a this is a, an art. So be an artist. With it. Um. So uh, I haven't figured out. What, you have a bicycle crank on you, like. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Just want to point that out. I mean, I know you know that. <laughs> but I found it interesting. Is it as a weapon? Say yes. I've never Say yes. It as a weapon. Yes, sir. <laughs> One day. I think so. Think about it. Connor's gonna have this fucking back. Uh, let me use. You're okay to be. You know, it's only you two. Natasha Greta. We'll see. I uh. I injured my parts of my knee. So I'll see. I might move a little slow on some of these things. So I might not. Think, but it's better than doing something. So. On my basic knee size pass, you can do it from standing. I'm probably gonna go low. I feel safe when I'm low. Uh, standing, I feel like he can still wrap his legs in instead of ashis and all kinds of shit. So I, I, I prefer to be low or and away a little bit when I'm passing. A lot of people just sit in the guard and because it's jujitsu, they feel like I have to engage, I have to be close. And that's not true. Like, Connor's wrestled since he's fucking born, since he's a fetus. Um, and so wrestlers generally, and we should always take note from them. If they're in a bad situation, if something's not working, they back out and they reset. You know, if it didn't work, maybe they change the angle and go again. Jiu-Jitsu, for the most part, maybe not in here, but for the most part, you're engaged, you gotta keep engaging. It's not working, whatever, I'll just keep fighting. Don't, don't do that, it's not working, get out. You're putting yourself in an ugly situation, get up, restart. So, in regards to that, with passing, a lot of people just sit in like a guard that might be open really close, they're still in a guard. Like I, even if I'm here, I'm still, that's a, that's a guard, that's a guard, this is a guard. These are all for him to attack me. My only purpose here is to pass that guard. Sometimes sit back for a leg box. You know, that, that's, that's definitely an option. So from here, what I like to do, if I'm in his open situation guard, let's just lay back for him. I keep this knee bent and the other shin knee on the floor, okay? Just like so. He doesn't, he, it is his guard, but he doesn't have anything. The triangle's not gonna happen because I'm in tape. And he has to pull an arm in, pull an arm out. There's nothing that's gonna happen right here, okay? You can start like this, which will lead to something we're gonna do later, or you can start like this. What I want is these legs pushed away. But you don't want to project by going, Ugh, because then he knows you're up to something. You want to trick them. So I'm here, pushing down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left knee and shin and slice across to his weak side. Okay? It's strategy. And I, I've talked about this for years. Not that anyone listens, but I slice across this way, strategy. Because all training, traditionally, is going to be on side of the body. Right-handed, right on people, even if they're taught, and they're lefty, they're taught by right hand people. So attacks, for me, are going to be on this side. Defense is going to be up the bunch on this side. Attacks for me, if I'm not doing it on this side, are not going to be as powerful. But his defense isn't going to be as powerful, even at higher levels. Really good guys in training, you know, I'll pass on this side, pass on, and then after the life, you were passing on my lap, that's why. Fuck, I was so confused. I was like, wait, this is how I defend this choke. It's how I defend this easy. Well, why is it not working? What the fuck? Wait, which one? Why is it my right arm? You understand what I'm saying? It's a strategy. This whole game is it's strategy and lies. That's what you did is strategy and lies. Oh, I'm going for this, but I took this. You lied to him. You know? <gasps> I'm so tired. I can't move. It's choking me. Let me make some noise. Let the guy get tired, then attack. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna slice to his weak side, strategy. So I push this down slightly, push them both down, so there's no where I'm going. Most people will think I'm going this way because of what I just discussed. 
I'm going to slide my shin and knee across here, and I'm going to sit upright when I do this. See, I'm up here. I'm doing this so I can thrust my hips forward and slam this knee to the ground. Also, he doesn't have the option to push my head away and do things to my head. So what I don't want is this. Don't lead him with the head. It doesn't do you anything. If you can go like uh, Jake Shields will do it, he'll just drive his head into your chest and smash. And you know there is a you can do that. But what I'm teaching now, I come here, I thrust my hips forward, especially if he thinks to push on my head. Immediately, as this knee slices through and passes, my right leg will simultaneously, as the knee lands, pop out over here, like so. Pay attention to where this leg is. It's where it is. No, no. No. Yes. I'm here. Some, some experience, or a lot of experience, will immediately see the opportunity, because I'm still in their quarter guard, to put an underhook in. And I'm a wizard. If I don't wizard, he takes my back. So you have to wizard. I will wizard immediately. I'll come back down. As this knee slices through and this leg steps through, the way it is, and this arm comes, I am Instantly, as I fire, I'm going to drop my shoulder on these ribs. See that? Almost look back. What that does is it destroys this arm. The arm gets flattened. Yeah. Here. Fall well, on See, I'm dropping. I'm, you can see me bounce a little bit. And I extend my left hand. If I don't, it's going to be over here. Maybe you got long arms. It's going to be over here. But I get out. See now, yeah, even with his head back, I still have my fingers in it. Which makes it very easy for my hands to touch. In a gable grip. Once we have the arms here, this is called the vice grip. Okay? And from here, I want to, if he's squeezing my foot, because he doesn't want me to get out, right? If he lets me out, cool, I don't have to do as much work. But we're going we're gonna to play real. So he has my leg, he doesn't want me out. You can start. Clamping down, things will work from here. But what I like to do is take my right forearm and put it behind the head. Along here, the mohawk. Right, Tim Mohawk? Yes, sir. Right there. He knows it. So Tim Mohawk wants to go there. Now, how I'm going to make this work at the beginning is I'm going to just push my elbow into my abs. It's a lat workout. Against his neck, who wins? My right arm and back? side of my back, or his fucking neck. You know, no brainer. So I push in, push in, push in, push in. So what happens here is, like a guy like Connor, because the rocks in here are very loose, <laughs> he'll probably hold on. And then he's going to tap. He's going to want to tap it. I'm going to crank the fuck out of his neck. I go to sleep. Yeah, or sleep. One of the two. Most people, you push, 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 they let go because they want to relieve the pressure on their neck. So I'll keep going here, and he lets go. And as he lets go, I've now passed. I keep the pressure on, keep him on his side, and look what I'm doing. I keep pushing in the whole time, even though I'm past now, my leg's out. I'm going to push this arm further through, push this head further in. But always keep constant pressure here. Left hand on the right bicep, right hand behind the back. And I like to walk. There's multiple ways to do this. This is just the way I do it, which is why you're here. See how I do things. I slide my weight backwards, and I try to get my left elbow on the floor. Okay. So I might have to adjust. See what I just did to him? Because he was defending the ducks. I bring that arm up. It does defend it. So now I move this arm out of the way with my left arm. I just shut it. From here, when you're sliding back, you might have to use your toes to do that. What I want is the edge of his head level, where it would be, you know, like up here, to be right on the center of my chest, right there. And what I do is I use that part of my chest to push his head to the mat, popping my chest out, okay, like a pigeon chest, boom, nice and big, okay? Left elbow as best I can on the floor, and now bring your elbows to together slightly, there's a little flex going on there, and I'm going to freedom rock my left wrist, getting the tap. Okay. Again, there's multiple ways. I can sit here and not free to mark, and I can turn my elbow up nice and high. That was my whole form for his neck, too. It takes a little more strength. I can put my chest behind his head and walk him that way, which is common and flex the biceps. But when I just sit here like this, pushing my chest up, and only turn the rest, wrist up, 
Right now, I'm just leaving at 1%. 1 until about 10, 15% of the strength. I'm not using much strength. My point here is that I want to be really conservative with my energy. This doesn't take much strength. Okay? Right? Right, girls, girls, this is why guys do this so much. We conserve energy. It's, it's just the opposite. Laugh. There we go. <laughs> We're not in Utah, right? Alright. Yeah. A bunch of fucking Mormons in here. Like. <coughs> <coughs> Masturbation? No, that's not help. <laughs> <laughs> There's 17 school. Okay, so again. I know it's a lot of details. But if I don't give you details, and just let you run through. I know you probably forget, but as you do it, you'll feel it. it you know, it works. Like, you can tell me all the details in the world, and then, uh, when I get and do it, then it starts to soak in. And maybe you do a, a, a good percentage of what I'm telling you already, but then there's all the other shit I just taught you. Um, but it's very important. If I don't tell you these things, I'm a horrible teacher. And it, it's, 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 it's a robbery for you. Over here. I'm high on the shoulder right now. Just be here. I'm gonna slice through and look. The hip extension, the thrusting forward, is what makes my knee very heavy. Because if he's like catching it, like a quarter of the way, three quarters of the way in, whatever, and he just puts the hands like right on here, there's too far. I'm not gonna waste my time with it. But if I'm slicing with that thrust, that his hands don't do shit. I, I smash his hands. I hurt his wrist usually. Right hand, so come onto the neck, boom. He gets his underhook. And if he's getting up, good, he's got the foot now. See, this is too long for me, I would already fire my left. I wouldn't sit here. I'd already be going like this. Hands together, shove his head in, shove his head in. Keep going until he lets go, walk it around. He's flat down, this is actually a defense for him. See how he's flat on his belly? So I keep working his neck and I'll lift him up. And I'll keep lifting him up. Now, this slide back. He's got a secondary defense. He has he's posting on his left arm. I don't know if you guys can see it. Is your right arm? He's posting up. Don't bother Darson from here. Don't bother freedom rocking. You need to get that arm down. So a simple way to do it is just to, to fire my left elbow towards my chest and get it out of the way. Because this power is like this. It's not stopping this and this. It's just stopping up and down. Yeah, sorry. You don't want his shoulder on your throat. You want to slide back and put the head behind him. Okay? My ears on the back of him, on his shoulder. Push your head down and slowly put him off the wrist. So really quick, um, for the newer people that haven't dealt with me before. Freedom Rock is simply, like I said before, it's just bringing this wrist up. That's all it is. Why is Freedom Rock? That's what that means. Exactly. You'd be surprised at the amount of people, as I'm doing this, will sit there and go like this. Or after I show it, and then they go, it's not working. That's not what I told you to do. I said two plus two equals four. You walk in with an orange. <laughs> okay. Knee slice to dars. Let's do it. More beneficial. I think you just revert to being an asshole. That works surprisingly well. So, same thing. And here's what happens, and it happens to me a lot, especially with guys I regularly roll with. They know I'm gonna pass the weak side. You probably sometimes can stop it, probably can, or eventually get there. Then they know the darts is coming. It's, it's, it's not, like my passing to the side is not my passing. It's <coughs> my pass to darts, it's one, okay? So they know that, and so even when they get up in, instinctually to get up on, on the side because they don't want to get flattened out for the pass, they won't, they'll throw the underhook, they'll hide it. And they go, okay, I'm hiding my underhook. There's no dars, right? If I can't get that underhook, I can't dars them. <coughs> Wrong. I just make believe you guys all know you're not in agreement. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see your fucking face. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Boom. 
Okay? He doesn't do that. Maybe he does initially. Now the reason he does this is because again it's his half guard and he has the attacks from here. He can do all kinds of shit here. It's his. It's not mine. I make it mine. But so he feels this coming and he goes, uh uh-uh, And he hides it. And I'm going to give him a hand back. But I keep acting like I want that. Okay? So maybe he still has my foot. Everything is all set, right? He still has his quarter guard. It's still a percentage of the his. I'll post his hand behind the head. Okay, so you don't get jacked up, dropped up. Okay. I'll post this behind the head. This is to stop him from backing his head up in there and to distract him. Weight distribution forward, weight distri- distribution back. So you notice my legs where it is so he can't grab it. You know? He can try to fire for one but that's not going to end well for him. Now, pay attention to the left hand. It's fighting. It wants to get it. I'm trying. I'm trying to peel. I'm doing all this bullshit. I know I'm not getting in. My whole intention is to get this left hand to go the same way that Darcy is, but without the arm. Yes, and this is fucking hell for him. Okay, I do this on him. I can even start creeping it back. Well, he's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. I'm doing this. I'm just doing this. I'm using them. Right under the chin, along the throat, all the way in. See right there? Unless you've got some goofy, long-ass arms, you have to make an adjustment. Slide the other way. From here, it's done. I can, ju- even from just right here alone, I can flex my bicep. Also, as I'm doing that, I'm going to push my chest down a little bit under my right arm. See that motion? But you're going to flex your bicep. Okay? It's not just the right arm. If I want to go really nasty on him, I'm going to turn his head up that way. If my leg is free, and I want to go all the way like I had it before, just sprout. I'm freedom locking and I'm flexing my bicep. Now, he thinks he's slick, he's got his wrestling, so instinctually he'll probably try to bridge and go to his back. He goes that way, <laughs> careful, careful. Okay, if I'm flexing, see how he did that? By right about now, if I was squeezing, his neck would have cracked. I would have cracked his neck. He would have twisted into it, I probably would have let go to be nice. <laughs> so he's gone this far, but let's just say, I, okay, I'll allow him to be here. I just flex my bicep. It's only going to get worse. He wants to get to his knees. He just turns into the choke. If I puff my chest down and do any of these things, it's going to be done also. There's just really nothing for him to do. Or get hurt or pass out. But I have to go in there aggressively. Otherwise, it does give him the chance to bridge and roll or get to the other side. If my body's on the other side of his body, then he can peel the elbow off, the outside elbow, with his right hand. But on this side of the body, he can't get to it. He maybe tries to reach for it by that time he's ready to sleep. Boom. Man. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Push him through, push him through. Other thing. Pull the hand, slice it right across under his chin. If I go shallow, that's fine. I prefer to go further in. Because if I'm shallow, just like this, I'm going to free on. From here, it's bicep. Flex the bicep. Feel that? That's me flexing. Nice and tight. Push the head in with the right elbow. If you want to be nasty as fuck and don't waste any time, just turn his head upwards. And flex his head. You, with that posted hand, are you baiting him a little bit? I press that angle so they press up and open that neck so you can shoot through easier? Um, sometimes, yeah. Well, if, if I don't want them to run if too if much. You start pushing my head here. Yeah, you resist that. And, and what I want is to get my, my form and uh, my bicep on the chin. So I can, I can even start. If I know the guy's going to, the guy just tucks his chin for whatever reason, or he has no neck, then I start doing this shit. See so if he reacts. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna do this too. Get you with this. And then I keep doing that. I keep fighting like we want this arm so he doesn't think he can peel the angle right under there. That's how it's gotta be put in. I'm doing it so as you can see it, but that it's gotta be fast. And once it's in, it squeeze, crunch, turn. You can even turn that way. Biggest problem. 
There's a lot of shit you can do in there. Little tiny play with it. You might be hey, check out this thing. I step my leg over here. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And like, oh, whoa, whoa. That's powerful. But I'm open-minded with this stuff. I don't, I don't go, oh, you're all right. You can't tell me. Go ahead, tell me. I'll listen. I'll try it. If it works, cool. I'll name it after you. The guy with sushi snacks. That's what it's called. The guy with sushi snacks. All right, let's do it. I'm going to go for the pass. I talked about this earlier, and his hands are already ready to block that knee slice. Okay? And you always want to have a variety of things. That it's not a good idea. It can work effectively for a while, and then it's not. And what I mean is to have a linear look at things. Like, I'm going to go straight through. You can't stop me, and this works every time. And that's all I know. And what happens is it gets stopped, and then your whole game falls to shit. But it could work for a while. You know? Me back in the day, I'd fucking guillotine everyone. I'd run through tournaments. I'd just be like, getting taken down, just bad technique, and I'd just be like, because I did my this. That ends in self stole from me. No, maybe, no, John Jones. John Jones. Again, I'm cheetah. And Ooh. destroy people's necks. Well, then people started going, no, you guillotine and anything. And then I was like, what do we do now? But I had a lot of success with it. You gotta have a variety of things. And you had to learn to shoot. Yeah. And sprawl. Then I started sprawling and taking backs like crazy and other people from there. Um, so the same situation, I'm here, I'm starting, he's down, I give him a pass, his hands are already there. They're like right where his thigh is. They're not back here, I'm not even in motion, it's already blocking with the underhook. Okay, so fight like I want it. Keep fighting like I want it, but realistically I'm gonna adjust. See what I just did there? I adjust, I reach my left hand to his left shoulder. Still blocking. I still fight like I want this. And as I reach here, two things are going to happen at once. My left hip is going to smash right up here, and my right leg is going to back step. Okay, so I've got weight on here. I'm pushing like I want that. Step, turn, and back step. I did it slowly because my knee's fucked up. But you can take a big back step. Okay, so now from here, there's two things we're going to do. Okay? One is we're going to bring the left leg back so we can go to break side control. So I'm here, and I go to side control, and wait on him. That's one thing. The other thing is, there we go. Okay. I land with my ass on his ribs right here. Heavy. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this right leg, lift it up, and take a big spin to that side. Mount nice and wide. You can sit here, or normally they react. And when they normally they react and try to push and turn towards me, that's when I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. Stand your side. So normally from here, and I'm not hanging out here. I just got here. I slam my weight heavy on the ribs. He starts to turn towards me, and that's when I get to take a triangle and arm bar. Okay, so one of these arms will pop in. Now you don't necessarily have to do the knee slice to do this, but I'm so successful with the knee slice, you know, I'm going to do the knee slice. And then if it doesn't work, I'll have this. But you can easily just get in there, dive under, and take, take the pass. Here, drive, boom, um, it's not working. Reach, get that knee on your shoulder, but as you can see, I just kind of slid it up there. Back step, okay, sitting on him. I can go back to regular side control. I can take a big swing. Is that confusing? Do you guys need to see it again? Or you're ready to go. That's one. So, um, let's see what we got in there. When I'm reaching, when I back step, because we're going to do this later again, this right leg is going to kick up and back. You can keep waiting your foot, I'm just instructed not to let my foot turn to hurt my knee. Okay? Wait, I have a good idea. Sometimes I have these. That's it. Yeah, I fixed it. That's your back step. So I'm in here, I'm gonna pass. The slice, oh, caught me. Fight for it though. You know you're gonna go to the other spot. 
And I gotta make a little adjustment here. Reach for the shoulder. That helps the, the, the back of the knee go on my, on my shoulder. Boom. Go that way. Or stay on it, stay heavy. I wanna, when I, I wanna aim when I'm going my hips to be up here. Because sometimes people just turn and they fall over here. And nothing really happens. My right leg's gonna spin around the head. It will be a one fluid motion usually. I'm just stopping to explain. I'm heavy on him right now. How does 156 pounds feel? Light. Yes, yeah, very light. Nothing, but he's grimacing at me. So my butt's very heavy the whole time. I'm going to yank the head, pull the arm. I still have a mountain. Go to the chupa. Yeah, go to the chupa. Chupa, I need both arms. But I can be here. I can shimmy back, get back up. Now I have arm lock set up. The whole time, this is very heavy. You got it, man? Let's do it. But I'm actually in multiple ways. Uh, it's going to basically be the same finish, just from different angles. And it's pretty powerful stuff. Um, I'm just debating which one I want to show first. Uh, so, since we just got to now, right? Now, sometimes, usually I'll feed this to them, but give it to them. Okay? Sometimes they take it on their own. It doesn't really make a difference. What I'm going to do here is kind of have the mount position. He just wants to recover some form of a half guard guard, get the hell out. So I'm just going to be nice and I'm going to lift this foot up here and I'm going to let him have that quarter guard right there. tricky with this from the beginning, you start doing stuff on his face. Cover his eyes, so he's thinking about that. I'm gonna take my right knee, pass it to this side of his body. It's not a difficult task. At the same time, you're gonna see a couple things happen. I'm gonna come here, see his knees rolled. Look at my left leg, what I did with it. Okay, up here, mount. Maybe he's on the side, maybe he's flat. Flat's even easier. I'm just gonna take my right leg all the way over here. I'm gonna take my left leg backwards. My left leg is not on the floor. My left foot is on the floor. Grab this knee here. Keep this arm behind his head. Fall back to my right. And slide this right leg to the mat. And pinch my legs together. From here, the top, his top leg, I put my left arm behind it. Turn my hand up. And reach right here. OK? What I like to do to finish this, because multiple things will be happening. So I actually take my right hand on his heel. And his, his other toes are in my armpit. So these toes are in my part. I'm going to push my armpit that way, get on my right shoulder. See that motion? And pull. I can also rip my hips through his knee. Foot lock. It's a foot lock. It's a compression. It's a, it, it's a, a knee bar, depending on where the leg lies. It's actually like that. So 
So there's gonna be multiple ways. Stop. Okay. No. Okay. Give him the foot. He's got the foot. He squeezes on. He's all happy now. Keep pressure on his face. Just bring the knee right over here. I'm in motion. Keep going. This is happening. Okay, they can't get a fit. It's not a big deal. He's going to pry his knees open. Now he's in the honeymoon. Okay, I'm not going to get too crazy. That's, that's the two. Either he's here and the legs are this way, this leg in front, on top. We can retreat to See, I don't. Is that Texas Court? Yeah. I don't like to do the Texas code loop just like this, because right now it's heel, the bone here sticks into my form. And maybe I'm being a bitch, but it's uncomfortable. I don't like it. It hurts me. So I go right here. Push his foot down. That starts to hurt his foot. But I can also pull his shin through, and I can thrust my knee up. I mean, my hip through his knee. To the side of his knee. Make a little adjustment, it's going to get worse. So that's a calf compression with my shin and my own calf? Yes. Your calf is going into your, sh your shin is going into your calf. I'm also going to leg lock you right there, foot lock you. And I'm also going to fuck your knee up by doing that. So I'm doing three things at once. Oh, very nice. If I could do a set of a move and there's like two or three things all on at once, I'm going to do that. Because some people don't feel certain things. You know, they just they don't, they've got to put a lot of effort. Like compression, cap compression, that's something that doesn't work. But you give it enough and you're going to break their two bones in here for the tip. Then they'll know. But, you know, hey, if I can finish with the leg lock and avoid breaking someone's leg, yeah, I don't want to break I mean, no one's training with, they want to break people's legs, but... Cut me off, whatever, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 I will. If I caught that guy, I'd break his fucking legs, I'd break his wrist. I'd choke him out, I'd lay down, I'd choke him out. Then I'd take his credit cards and get back at 600 bucks with interest. <laughs> so again, it looks a little tricky probably. We're here with the mount. Sometimes he takes the foot. Okay, fine. <clears throat> as soon as he's turning, I'm already going to step my right knee over to this, the opposite side, and back. Step. Look at that. I'm here. Ta-da. That's how it works. It's that quick. Legs are wrong. Legs are wrong. What do I do? Plain hold. Just pry this open and get your knee in here. I mean, I think you could probably chop both legs with that foot's kind of in the way. That's scary. I don't want that. Yeah, that foot's in the way, but this foot's out of the way now. I got an easy honey hole right there. As soon as you start taking me this way, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he's running on crazy, then you go to extra evil honey hole, which is the opposite side. Don't worry about that for now. That's one of those. Let's do that a few times and then I'm going to get it from different angles. So, uh, although I was showing on the weak side, I'm going to need, because I'm on the back step, I'm going to knee slice again, but I'm just going to go to the strong side. Which will probably make him happy until I destroy his legs. Over here. Boom. Slice through. Right? I'm knee slicing through. And right as I'm recessing through, look what happens. I just finished the slice. Doors? No arm doors? Yay, all that stuff. No, not today. We turn it in. Back step. Look, this leg never touched before. Grab the knee. Pull him over. And here we go again. Okay, I'm 
going to give you something else because it's um, something else that you're probably not going to do. I'm going to use someone who is much longer than that. Just so that I don't want to So as I'm sitting through, I just got here. That's the look, it's right there. Look how easy. Who's tall and 6'1"? These are long legs, right? You're all light, but I know. <laughs> yeah, but he, they're old and destroyed. Like, you can't do yeah, that. I got the best tips money can buy. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> Freaking Wolverine over here. Yeah. Uh, that that upgraded parts. Okay. But your legs are long, aren't they? Right? Oh, yeah. It's like 6'2". So I'm in here, right? Um, let's backspin this way. Towards it. I just want you to be aware of it. I don't necessarily think I want you to do it. Okay? Over here, it's got these long, goofy legs that I'm not able to like get the compression on or whatever. But I can do it. I can make it really bad for him. Okay, so you're going to see me sort of do the motion. This is DEF CON 4. Or I don't know, Cloverleaf from fucking hell. Okay, I'm here. I'm gonna take this right arm and elbow. I'm gonna reach over and behind here. Okay, mm -hmm. that's about as far as I wanna go with him. If I get this under the armpit, something's gonna go snap. Keep the toes though, don't let the toes go. Reach over, yeah. And now I just rip this back, he's done. He's got long enough legs that I can, most of you aren't even gonna do this. You're gonna get to like right here and the guys go, okay, okay, okay. Now I have my whole upper body ripped down. So if I really don't like the guy, he said he doesn't like French Bulldogs. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you zombie motion instead of like a all the way around motion? Like a swim zombie? Like said, use your yeah. arm, not your body. Bone, like. Yeah, but I feel like my armpit will land more if I come over like that. Okay. You know, there's more weight to push it back. But you can do this, but then you're, you're going to get stuck right around there and you're going to have to get heaven you can work for. If hypothetically, you do it, and the toes came out, freeing up that leg. You can still work on an e-bar from here. You come back and take it. I mean, it's not an e-bar. You come right back to a, a weird honey hole that he's not going anywhere on. So again, we got, sorry, we got here. This guy's all lanky and annoying. That's going to go that way. Usually I can't even get that far with people. But you can feel what's about to happen. Usually, it's, it more, more than the compression, it's a fucking blow out your knee. It's like a knee bar. Somehow I do this, and then his foot's all wonky. gets out. Okay. Something else I said to a couple people. Um, I don't know if I said this last time. These knuckles should face you. And the reason these knuckles should face you is because generally, if I'm here, don't worry about that one, just, uh, can you, I want you to rotate the heel into my ribs. So just do that right now, like that, okay? So now, let it go. So you know the motion now. I'm like this, do it. Fight for it, go, 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 be aggressive, okay? I'm here, do it. Yeah. Now, I'm trying my knuckles to do it. Ain't going nowhere. He's not getting out. He's out. He's out. Alright, let's do it. That smiles. Okay. Oh, we did have those black pants on. Okay. <laughs> now? Yeah. Can you sing a back string song to me right now? A back. Backstreet. I'm not acknowledging these statements. Backstreet boys. Backstreet boys, right? Yeah. Can you see one? No. Okay, so he's going to have down on me. He's going to be nice and heavy. Okay, I'm keeping him out of skate. Ready? I've tried before, but people want to. Don't reduce. No, don't do that. Okay, 
Now, if he, someone closer to my size, does do lace the legs in, uh, skydives or whatever, I can still work this, okay? But let's just get through the logistics. Someone really heavy, I won't bother. It's gonna be especially really heavy, like to push my arms, and it's gonna be a lot of work, so I'll just do something else. From the mount position, he's heavy. I wanna get at least one of my arms in first. If you can get them both in, great. What I mean by getting them in, is I want my elbow to be between my ribs and his knee right here. So I'll, I'll, for your sake, I'll take my right arm in. This is not going to be a hard thing to do. I'm in. Hand on the head. The left one's going to be very easy. Once I get this one, the next one's simple. Okay? They're still trying to control their position normally. Me, if I'm in mount on someone, they've done this with me, I leave. I just go, okay, fine, I'm leaving. I'm not going to give them a full escape. Now that my hands are on the hips, my elbows are into my sides. I want to bring my feet as close to my butt as possible. His feet are laced in, that's fine. Not a big deal, but if they're on the out, it's going to be even easier, but this is fine. Now, from here, it depends on the person and their control. I might be able to just thrust right out. What I will do is I'll bring my hips up in the air, pushing my feet to the ground like so. I want it that. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm going to lock my arms. And kind of on an angle, they will shift up here. But see, to do this is costing a lot more energy than to do that. Because I'm just pushing them backwards. But it's got to be two things at once. The hips start up and the arms go together. Okay? Hands are at the hips, not up on the ribs or anywhere else. Elbows in. Feet are close. I'm going to bust my hips up and extend my arms. And that's what could happen. Okay? If he pops and swings to his feet like that, that's fine. I pref I kind of prefer that, that he does that, because then I'm just going to set a bashi or go right over for a reaper and take the, the reaper. So if you're, you, you're, you know, you just react like that, that's cool. A lot of people try to stay heavy and their feet are off the floor and then they're just dangling like this and I can easily kick back and I have butterflies. Set my sweeps. Sometimes that doesn't work so well, but they're still up in the air, and they kind of, they'll just fall over. It's not even a technique, they just fall over. So get up on top. Sometimes they're too heavy, and they're coming forward, but then you kick them over you, and you chase Ashi too. Where are they gonna land, how they're gonna react, I can't predict. There's just a lot of options there. But the main focus is, I'm gonna get my elbows in, hold on, come on, and simultaneously, thrust my hips, extend my arms, keep my arms locked, butt comes down. If they don't pop up to their feet, boom, boom, thrust up, lock elbows. As my butt's coming down, my knees are popping through the center and opening. I'll show you that. And in. It's not heavy. Now look, if he's sitting up, you sit up, don't bother. This doesn't work. I have the right control. But most guys are going to sit and smother your fucking head. Okay, so now it's heavy on me. See, I brought the knees in, opened them up. That's the thing I just showed you. Come back again. It's like, what if I keep holding on your head? That's going to be a mistake for you because you're going you're to get tossed. I'll go all Because your, your arms are blocked. So it, it stops for me. But you can hold that. That's good. That's fine. It's easier for me to control the head if it's heavy here. More weight here, lighter here. Now this one, what you're going to do is you're going to try to squeeze your knees together really hard. When I lift you, when I lift you. Oh, okay. I'm in already? Okay. So here, I'm going to stay. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to come up here. I'll try to do it slow. Probably won't work for me. Or, yeah. All right. All right. I come, when I pop you up, you're going to squeeze your knees. Mm -hmm. you yeah. See that? That's when I gotta start shaking my legs like that. That's the dolphin. The reason that happens is because you squeeze, I couldn't push him back. His legs got clamped me. So that's when I started doing that. So I'm, I try to keep my arms locked and I do shoulder shucking sometimes, but my feet are wiggling like this. It's easier for you to do that for a long period than for me to hold that squeeze yeah. like a bitch. And one leg is gonna, one leg usually will get through. And when that right leg comes through, now I can open up. And the second leg will come through. Sometimes they're floating, and the one that comes through, they just, again, they fall. They're taking away all the balance. They're so heavy in the hips and squeezing knees together, they don't even think to open up their legs. Like, I must stay, I'm gonna win. So again, boom, boom. 
as it pop up. So your partner, you're going to do two different things. One, you're not going to fight. Three different things. One, you're going to pop up, bring it through. You're going to stand up the partner, him. Ashi or Ru, what you want to do. Next one, pop up, just stay floating in midair. Butterflies. Third thing, pop up, you squeeze the knees together and you're clamped. This is where you're going to... I'm flapping and bringing my knees up and I'm just fucking going crazy to get through. Breathe. Alright? 